Hey guys. I'm up in my dining room today because I was just gonna start a project and I was prepping a project and I thought, why don't I get on here? Because the mailman came and I got an exciting order and I wanted to share it with you. I thought this would be kind of fun and then I'm gonna do something um, I've never done before and have you guys help me with this project. So, if you get on and you can see me, please let me know. Like I said, I'm up in my dining room. It should be okay. It should be. So if you can see me, just let me know that you guys can see me. And then I just got my order from Dixie Bell Paint. That is the paint that I use on most all of my projects. And I wanted to share some of the new paint colors that I got because I have not used these before and I'm super excited to try them. And I just thought I'd share. I hope that you guys can see them, uh, the colors well too, in person or kind of in person. And I left the links up above to, for it to find this paint, but I just wanted to show you some colors. Uh, we'll go through, well, there's a lot in here. So this is the collard green color that I just used on that last dresser that I shared. It is probably um, my favorite green color right now. It is the perfect olive green color. Um, so this is in every one of my orders because I just love it so much. So I got the collard green again. Cotton is one of my favorite white colors. It's just a pure white, uh, very pretty color. So these two I've used before. My most favorite neutral, it's kind of a creamy white. It's called drop cloth. It's a good one. If you're looking for a creamy white, I've done many projects in this and this is always in my order because it's so good. Um, I don't think I've ever used buttercream. Let's see if I can hold these. If you can kind of tell. Buttercream's got a little more yellow in it. Um, but still kind of a creamy white, but a little more yellow in it. So I'm excited to try that one on a project. Um, okay, here is a new color that looks really, really, really good. It's called Sawmill Gravy. Did I say that right? Yes, yeah, Sawmill Gravy. You guys, <laughs> it's like a... Can you see that? It's kind of a grayish taupe perfection. I mean, I'm really excited to try this color. So that, that's exciting. And then French linen I've never used, which is kind of, if you put these two together, kind of to me looks like a darker version. Aren't these pretty? I can just see all kinds of furniture in the, these colors. All kinds. Okay. This one I've... Oh, I think I have used this one. This one's called Stormy Seas. It's kind of a blue gray. This is showing up. I mean, you can see the color, so that's good. It's a blue gray color. Okay, this is a just a black glaze. And then those are just extras of those. Okay, Palmetto I have used before. This is also a really pretty green color. Um... I love this shade so much better. It's it's just a different, some stormy seas. Patricia, yes, that's super, it's a pretty blue gray color. So these are great green colors. If you're looking for green paint, um, I like using Dixie Belle paint because you do not have to use, do a lot of prep, even though sometimes I do, and I've tried to share that on here when I do, um, but, you don't need a lot of prep. This one I've never used. It's called In the Navy. It kind of looks black, but you can see it's uh, it's more navy. I, I love navy. We used, in our first house, I had, um, I painted the walls in our bedroom all navy and then had white bedding. It was so pretty. Matt, on the other hand, wants everything light and bright. So we've kind of gotten rid of the dark colors. And this one's called Antebellum Blue. I've never used this either. Look at how pretty these are. So I have a few colors here that I've never used. And I want you guys to choose what color I paint this piece I'm gonna show you guys. I brought it inside because 
I don't like the heat and I think it's supposed to be 87 today and it's probably gonna be humid and that's not great for painting. So I brought the piece in to paint today so I can get it done. But I thought it'd be fun sharing all these new colors. I wanna try each one of them. I just have one piece today to do. If you guys can tell me which color you think I should paint the piece. And I will show you the piece um, here in a bit. And I think I said all the names. So if you're watching this on replay, just in the comments, uh, write which color I should paint that paint it, and then that's what I'll do. And I'll show you the piece in a minute. I also wanted to share these. I've shared these brushes, zebra paint brushes, and this is these are the brushes I use for everything. Um, I finally found a paintbrush that works for what I'm doing for furniture, for trim, for painting walls. They have all different kinds of shapes for different projects, which I love because you cannot, yeah, mom, the Navy's pretty, because you cannot um, just have one paintbrush to do all the things, right? Let's just be completely honest. I've done it before and it, I mean, you can get it done, but having these, this one is so good for table legs that are really round and ornate. I love using this round brush. So, um, but here, if you guys can tell, is my favorite brush from Zebra. It's the Palm Pro. I love the way it fits in my hand. And if there is one paintbrush I could live with the rest of my life, this would be it right here. I left a link for these brushes um, up above. I get a lot of questions about paintbrushes and which ones to use. And I, I highly recommend these brushes. We used to in our, is it backwards? I don't know how to switch that. And if I push a button, I don't know what I'm gonna get. And I. Okay, so it's called Zebra. It's up above in the links too. So it's, I think there's a way to switch that, you guys, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it looks right in my screen when I'm looking at this, but yes, I, I, when you say it's backwards, there's a button down here to push. I'll figure that out today. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, when we were first DIYing back in the day, when we first had our first house, we would buy the cheapest brushes we could find. And with halfway through a project, we were throwing them in the garbage because they, the bristles would come off. It, it was just, it was a nightmare. So finding paintbrushes that actually work for the different jobs you have, they're amazing. They're amazing. So I think that was all I was going to share about those two things. I'm going to switch you guys around and I'm going to share this piece with you and show you kind of what I started doing. And then I thought I should get on here and show these guys. So here it is. It's cute, right? It's it's kind of a dresser size, but a little thinner, if you can tell from here. What I would like to do is leave the drawers like I did on the green one and paint the rest of the piece. But my my question to you, who carries zebra brushes? It's at if the link is up above, Diane, um, it's through zebra. They're just, they're amazing. So I just wanted to kind of share again. I always share them on the blog, but just to see them in person, I just love them. Um, so I wanted to leave these drawers like they are. I think I'm gonna put some restore on them, the restore finish that I've shared on here before. Hopefully that will do it and then paint the rest of it. It doesn't need, I'm going to clean it. And when I say, yes, Diane, only online, that's yes. And when I clean it, I always get this question and I have started cleaning it. Go with the lighter green. Yeah, the wood is really pretty. I just, there were some, you can see some discoloration here and there were some splatters of, it kind of looked like stain. So I was cleaning it uh, right down here and I thought I need to get on here and do this. This is just Thieves Cleaner. It's what I grabbed, it's what I have on hand. If I'm painting and doing a piece, I don't worry about, I mean, if this was an antique that I was gonna restore, it would be different, but I am just painting this piece. It's got nicks and bruises all over, which is how I like to rescue them. Uh, so I will just clean it with a cloth and this thieves cleaner. Sometimes I just use water just to get the dust off. Uh, but, and sometimes like on some of the spots up above here, I used an eraser just to get, it was like stain or something on there. Diane, that's another thing I was gonna say. 
if you can tell, one of the, the handles are missing, so I can't keep the hardware. We will keep this hardware and just put it in our stash for another project. I never get rid of, you know, especially this original hardware. It's so pretty. Sometimes you can find pieces where people have put, you know, like the tin, not the tin, what am I trying to say? Like the cheaper versions, and sometimes I don't keep those, but these I will keep for sure. I will keep the locks, the those on, but I have to get new hardware, which kills me. I wish they were all on there, but they're not. So, so here's just a few quick tips. Um, always remove your hardware before you paint or do restore, you know, do like the staining or restore finish on there. How about ding other on top, keeping original on lower? Yes. Yes, we've done that before too. I'm going to see what we have in our stash uh, just to see. I mean, who kn we might have one of these. I don't know for sure, but um, if not, we have done that before too. That's a great tip, uh, putting, you know, the same hardware down here and then something different on top with some of the pieces. These kind of all go together, so um, I don't know if I'll do it on this one, but yeah, that's a great tip. tip. If we have drawers and then like little drawers up here and then bigger drawers on the bottom on a piece, we've done that a few times. This hardware's so good too. It's, ugh, I wish it was all on there. But anyway, so take off your hardware, clean your piece before you paint it, and then, or stain it obviously, and then take your drawers out before you do any of that because then you can make sure to get in here. And I always paint the insides here of a piece because when you shut the door you'll see this area here and then down here too um I will paint that just so then when you shut the door and if it goes in a little further it you can't see where it wasn't painted so always take your drawers out and I thought there was another tip I was going to share now I can't remember but pieces like this pick them up it, I mean if they've got little dings I can use the mud from Dixie Belle that I've shared here before to fix that because I'm going to paint that part. Um, but this is the kind of stuff, this is, this doesn't bother me at all. I look right past that. I basically make sure the drawers are sound. If they're not sound, we have um, fixed them before. We've actually rescued, rescued pieces where the bottom of the drawer wasn't even in it. And I shared how we fix that on the blog too. But um, pieces like this you want to make sure it's sturdy and sound like it's not all wobbly if you lean on it or um, the drawers are are intact and if not can you fix them I'm trying to think of what else I look for on pieces like this I mean if you could get all the original hardware that would be amazing and we've done we've lucked out but more times than not I don't get all the original hardware or there's pieces missing or handles missing but uh the top has some marks on it. These are really hard to get out. Even if I sanded this down all to the original, this outline would still be there. So that's kind of what was all over the drawers and I was cleaning off earlier. So that's okay. I will clean it all and I will paint it, but I want you guys to choose the color. So from the colors I shared um, in my order today, I will prep it and then maybe I will paint it tonight if I get uh, enough votes. And if not, I'll just paint, I'll pick a color and paint it. But I thought it'd be fun for you guys to choose it. I shared all the colors in the video. Just leave a comment below with what choice or what color you think I should paint it. Now that you've seen the piece, I sometimes feel like I can't decide. Sometimes I'll see a piece right away and know what color I want to paint it. And other times it takes a minute or... Uh, because each piece is a different color, right? So, okay, I just wanted to get on here and share that. I love getting a paint order. <laughs> it's like Christmas. I got some new colors that I haven't tried. They're really pretty. I'm excited to try them. And if you guys will leave your vote in the comments, that would help. And I thought that'd be fun. So, how, where is it going? I am probably not going to keep this piece. I am just going to make it over. Um, we don't have room for this one. I say that lightly because there have been many times when I have said, well, I don't think I'm going to keep this one. And I have made it over and 
it's ended up in our house, like this piece right here. Uh, I was not, I can't remember what we had here before, but my mom and I found this at a yard sale and this thing was crusty. It was, <laughs> it was really, really bad. I mean, it was like most neutral, neutral if selling. Yes. Um, it was like gray. It had some, I don't even know what was all over it. So I just cleaned it up and I painted it this green color. This makeover's on the blog too. And after I got the green color on it, I didn't love it. I didn't love the green color. And so we just rubbed stain, a dark stain all over the paint. And then that's how we got this color and this look. And after I got that on it, I had to find a spot for it. So I'm always changing my mind, but if I, if the makeover, if I really love it and want to find a spot in the house, then I've got to get rid of something else. But so my plan is to get rid of this one, but we'll see. And I will share the makeover soon. Have a great, what is it today? Wednesday, right? Have a great Wednesday, guys.